Shout out to Safari. Laughing at your kids when they fall. Let's talk about it. Olympic mental health check. Can somebody raised from love be with somebody raised from survival? This is the demo track. I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame, oh. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. And hey, guess what? I'm Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. the Power Father. Don't guess look at what, me. Man, I'm looking at you. This is Willow Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Wait, let me fix it. I'm over here knocking shit over. It's okay. You are. Yo. You know what it is? I'm just excited and to be back in studio. How about that? That's all, that's all, that's all it is. You got to stop moving so goddamn much, man. I, I mean, listen, I'm just excited to be See, back in studio. the monkey studio. over here looking at you crazy. I've been Damn. gone for so long, y'all. What's good, what bro? What little Kim said? I've been gone for a minute now. I'm back. Back with the jump off. Hey. Man. So Yo, what's right, goody? What's goody? I, I, listen, I feel bad for you. You're not here right now. You way over there, bro. How you? I'm how chilling, you feeling, man. I'm chilling okay, in the crib. Man, listen, you know, God damn, I'm good. I I, I do want to say I shout out to Wade for keeping all this together because this is a fucking it's a circus. This man is a beast. This, this nigga's keeping everything together. It's like we out Back. here. Wilding. No, no, real He's talk. Wade is the greatest constant. of all time. Yeah, it's listen. Bad. We become billionaires. We ain't got to get a piece of the billion. We all going to be billionaires together. You know what I'm saying? He got to get a piece of the piece. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, because. Like, cause, my bad. Like, I had a terrible reference. He's like a, like oh. a, like a, no, like a stepdaddy, a dude with multiple kids trying to keep it all together. I, I told you it was a terrible That's reference. A bad <laughs> reference, bro. I all said right, I, want I tried to, to stop I want myself. you to go to, I want, I want you to, I want you to run a lap. Stepdad. You, you, you said a stepdad. I want you to I'm run like, a okay, lap. I want you to run a lap and think about it. <laughs> Wait, you not, you're not a stepdad, okay? We, run a lap and think about it. Anyway, hit him with a drop, Wade. Hit him with a drop, Wade. Just hit him with one. Hit him with one of them. Hit him with one of them shits. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nah, but fellas. <laughs> I love Fellas, it, love it. How we doing? Um, how was the week? Talk to me. The week was pretty good, man. Just, you know, progressing slowly but surely. Got positive things coming along. Tired, but it's good things coming along. So. I mean, as long as you're working, fatigue, fatigue is secondary when you're working. That's how I feel. That's it. That's it. Once you get in the bed, fatigue is gone. Yeah. You don't feel fatigue unless you up. So once you go to sleep... Yeah. No, uh, to be honest, with well, me personally, I feel you don't feel fatigue until you're idle. If you constantly moving and you, you won't feel, you're not gonna feel fatigue until you like get complacent. And that's once you like, finally sit down for real, like for a moment, just go. Oh, that's when like, damn, I'm tired. But if you going, and you if you moving, moving and, and you progressing, things, you you don't feel that shit. Yeah, to so. me personally. Word. So as the person who's idle right now, niggas, I'm tired. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I, I you know, it. you know, no, no, but I mean, uh, we've been I, I, um, I like I like this moment because at this point in time we can be honest with ourselves. So I do like this. So however you feeling, speak that, brother. That's that. No, I'm with it though. I'm with it, man. I'm actually trying to teach myself. I'm I'm trying to relearn how to go to bed early. Okay. This is something that, like for years, I've had jobs that I had to work late. So you know. You working at 12, 1 o'clock every damn day, you good. You can be up to 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. So I'm literally used to that. But the job I have now, man, early. So yeah, man, this, this tire shit is real. Got you, got you, got But you, got I'm you. here, baby. Well, on Wednesdays, what's happening? I mean, you How got your no choice. Because if you're not, Uh-oh. I'm going to sue you. Nah, no, I'm joking. Nah. Um, Damn. <laughs> nah, um, my, my week has been fire. Um, I, I I took a trip back to New York, so it's it's a beautiful thing. You know, like I, it's just, 
it's always good to come home. How you feel sitting in my spot? Honestly, this is my spot. I'll let you borrow it. You feel me? Since that's never happened, and you, uh, what are we talking about? Being honest here? about the Barry whole in your spot. What are we talking I, about? This nah, is, yeah, Barry is in my spot. You know, but you nah, can't have a whole spot. Why? Why is two corny niggas calling my name? First off, wow. I, I will say so, this. So, I, how many corny niggas the, is on your phone, real quick, Barry? And why are these niggas all calling your name? Like. Check your phone, fam. All them corny niggas in your phone. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, (laughs) Out of everybody that I missed, I will say I missed Wade the most. Thank you. He said, you got that drop, Wade? Please tell me you got the on drop. Wade's my Wade is my man's hundred grand. I, I miss this nigga a lot. So when I saw him today, I was like, oh, Wade is the funniest nigga in the world. I was hyped. Wade, Wade is the funniest so, nigga in the world. Long story short, my week is positive. I'm back in New York. Nice, I, it, nice. I'm great. I, I feel. What you back in New York for good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck that. I'm back. Fucking <laughs> 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 Yo. kill you, dumbass. <laughs> kill you, dumbass. Mediator, moderator, road call, selector, snitching, temporary kill lover. Him. Always toxic, half a gas station pill. I don't need no book, Barry. What the fuck we talking about tonight? Bro? Nah, newsflash. Jay Willard back in Brooklyn, baby. Yeah. Kill this nigga. Today. What? Today. Back in the book, baby. <laughs> Kill you. Man. What? What we talking about, sir? What we talking about, sir? What what we we talking about, about? Sir? Moderator? Um, you talking about the Olympics real quick. We going to run through it really fast. Uh, Simone Biles, she checked out of the... The gymnastics of the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know Shikari Richardson. She she's not allowed to compete. Mm-hmm. A couple other things. So we're gonna talk about that real quick and do a mental right. health check on everybody in the Olympics. Um, this also, Safari and Erica Mena. They have a beautiful little girl. Yep. Shout out to them. And they have they have two kids now. Actually, matter of fact, two? is she still pregnant? Yeah. Okay. I feel like she's pregnant. No, too, she okay. had. No, she had the second baby. So shout out to this. Shout okay. out to them. Congrats on that. On the on on the two bundles of joy that they have and um. There was a video, a viral video that went out of their daughter um, falling and the guitar falling on top. Busting her shit. Busting her shit. That shit is and funny. I'm sorry. It's actually absolutely people, hilarious. It was funny, but in the context of everything that's been going on with Safari, people didn't take it to be funny. So we're going to talk about that real quickly as All well. Right. Okay. Give it a few, give it a few minutes. Yes, 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 yes. Also, the other topic that we have was, do you think... If a person raised by love could be with someone who was raised on survival, mm. I love this topic. I'm gonna say I it one more time. I love this topic. Do you think someone raised from love can handle a person raised from survival? Mm. We're gonna let that sit there and we're gonna think That's about a great that. Topic. All right. That is a great topic. Um, the other topic was we have a couple other topics that we can get to, but just in case we don't get to them, I'm not gonna mention them yet. But okay. yeah, no, I like cool. it. Don't worry about it. But nonetheless, shout out to that. Also, oh yeah, yeah and um, breaking news. Also, uh, Dr. Dre has to pay three hundred thousand dollars in oh, in spousal support. Jesus, yes, 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 yes. Three hundred thousand dollars a month in spousal support. Which is his fault because he ripped up the prenup. Mm. But so we gonna we gonna sense, wrap it. We gonna so let's start rapid there, real fire quick. real let's quick. Just start right there. Let's rapid fire that seventy real quick, man. percent of this country don't even make a hundred thousand a month. Right. I mean a hundred thousand a year. Yeah. Shorty about okay. to get paid three hundred thousand a month. First though, from what real as rapid fire, real quick, from what she wanted originally was way more than that. She wanted Ooh. about one point three million a month. Jesus. She said that her laundry expenses would triple what the, that what she they claim it is. Her laundry expenses? What the fuck is she cleaning? Right, she now, right now, right now, right now, I think her laundry expenses she claims is about twenty thousand oh, dollars. Bro, throw some shit in some I, soapy I, water. I I need to open up a laundry mat. <laughs> but you because can't say that because for what? twenty they've been together for twenty one years and you have to keep up the lifestyle if you've been with somebody for twenty one years. So. Prayers to drop the drain in his pockets. He has to pay three hundred thousand dollars. I, I will say one this. Of the, I, go ahead. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. I was going to say it reminds me of it. Just reminds me of the Chris Rock joke. And he said, "Keep up your lifestyle." And there's a long old Chris Rock joke. He was like, "When you go to a restaurant, you accustomed to eating. 
when you leave the restaurant, they don't owe you a steak. It's over. It's Chris yeah. Rock. No, no, but the, the, it's the same thing in the to me. It's over. Like it's not yeah. like fuck you mean I, I gotta keep up your lifestyle. That don't make no sense. That makes no sense. <sighs> yeah. So, so I don't know. Again, marriage, marriage, marriage. Mm, praise so praise okay, them. so 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 what I will say, what I will say, it depends where you get married. Where um, and who's the got, breadwinner they, in the relationship. They got married in LA. And it also and depends on who's the breadwinner yo, as well. Y'all need to stop getting married in LA. In LA. They, LA got them and crazy New York. rules. And New York. Fellas. And New York. And New York. Hold on, hold on, one, one second, one second. Fellas, <laughs> the odds are not in your favor. Mm. Z- zoom in. Can we z- zoom in on this? <laughs> well, you there? The you there? You got the screen. <laughs> are not in your favor. No, nope. stop nah. getting married in LA and New York. If anything and was York. to go wrong, you're fried. You're going to lose. Fact. And I'm saying, I'm not saying lose as in the fact if it's a game. It's not a game, right? I, Let's I, say I, you. I, are I, I want you to pursue the person that you're with. I want you to be involved heavily with the person that you're with. <laughs> And I Just don't, don't get married there. Of what may happen, but LA is not there for you. Don't do it at, because at all. you're at not all. gonna come out on top. Three hundred thousand dollars a month. Listen, prayers to That's both. Three point nine million dollars a year. Both prayers to both parties involved. Dr. Dre. His and ex-wife. I think it's until she get married again. Did they say it's yes. until she, she get married again? Yes. Until she so gets she married again. Gets mar- until she, she gets married again. again until married. she gets another domestic partner or the court decides that they she no longer needs it. A domestic so partner. So all that means is she just won't never do it. She'll just always have his money. Like, duh. Bro, I w- if, if it were me, if I was the woman, I would never. But Ever. like I said, Ever. whoever Ever. I meet, whoever I meet, I will let Pray them know. Pray no, to no, both no, parts. No, it's no. rapid fire. Heard it. So let me just say this point. I shut up. You said something twice. Let me say it thrice. <laughs> He's like, let me say something <laughs> rapidly. The, the fact, <laughs> if I were, you want to go if, to fucking bed, nigga. If I were, if I were the wife in that situation, and all the only stipulation on me was I just couldn't marry again, or I couldn't be in a long lasting relationship again. I would just tell the person who I'm dealing with, listen, this is a business decision, right? <laughs> Legally, on paper, we can't be married, but just know I fuck with you. We're going to have $4 million a year for the rest of our life. What? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Once what? again, prayers to both parties involved, Dr. Dre, his ex-wife, the children right. that they have together, all parties Keep involved. Keep selling beats, my nigga, because you're going to need it. He gonna it have is to. What it is. You gonna need it. We it gonna get a new Snoop it. album. We gonna get a new Dazz and Corrupt gonna, album. The, the Chronic, Chronic gonna come out. Have come on everything, out. Everything. But bro. once again, we about to have a fucking Nate Dog album, nigga. We need <laughs> a posthumous. <laughs> we, we need a Nate Dog album Listen, because right. your money is gone. Okay. Next. Let's do Next it, man. Topic. We, we do a rapid drop. fire. We did. it. We did. Ain't no drops. Wait, do you got the Willow Wednesday drop? Wait, real quick. No, I'm sorry. Ain't, ain't no, no drop. drop. You got it. He got a. Wednesdays. He got a drop. He could press a. Drop. I like it. I, I like it. Next I drop. Fuck with the gong. Next I fuck drop. With the gong. The gong. Nah, the gong is um, dope. Gong is dope. So yo, let's use gonna, that. For, you Will, know what? That's uh, it. Uh, Olympics. It's official. Really quickly. Willow uh, Will Wednesdays is going to talk about mental health check on the Olympics. Simone Biles checks out of the Olympics due to mental health issues. Um, yeah, so what's Shikari going on? Richardson, she's no longer allowed to compete as well. We so, know that one already. I, I, I want to I talk on the, the mental health issue. Um, one, the, 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 there's something that's happening right now. There's an agenda that's happening. And you, y'all always call me the conspiracy guy or the, the, the radical one. But if something medical is happening with somebody, HIPAA laws, you can't say what's going on, right? No, she came out and said it herself. No, she didn't. She definitely did. She said, I feel like there's a bunch of weight on my shoulders, and mentally I'm not okay. She definitely... I, oh, yeah? She definitely Okay, did. cool. So for, for I what, thought she I just got under- hurt. No, no, no. No, she what, didn't. No for, physical... It's no from physical. From what I understood, uh, um, a representative from her camp came out and said, hey, her injury is not a physical one. It's not. It's yeah. a mental one. That happened, uh, and then she did. So, she followed up and said a statement as well, and said, cool. "I feel like there's so, a whole bunch of weight on my shoulders." So, 
So what I'm speaking to is the fact of that's not really the world's business. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm a world top class athlete, you're not going to be speaking my business in the general public. That unless you unless she allows it to be aired out. That, but that's what I'm saying. I'm speaking I just more feel, to. I just feel like there's a time and a pl- there's a time and a place. And if the athlete themselves don't come out with a press conference and a press release, and they say, "Listen, this is what's going on, and this is why I'm removing myself," if that's not happening, all this speculation is just speculation. In that sense, I agree. But because she did come out with it, I fucks with it because of the simple fact that mental health has to be more of some. It's now it's finally becoming yeah. something that's a, a, a major I, thing. I, what, what I was no, you're right. You're on, right. You're on, right. On, no, I'm gonna I say this on the show. Out. I'm going to fact check that because I'm. I wasn't aware of that. Right. Part. No, she definitely. No, no. What I was aware I just of found was it. the fact I just found that somebody it. Wait, came wait. out on her behalf. Yes. I'm sorry. I just found it. I just wanted to read it real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, it says Olympic champion, super frustrated about pulling out uh, of the gymnastics. Uh, she deals with the emotional toll of competing in Tokyo. Then it gives the history, and then it says, "quote." Physically, I feel good. I'm in shape, she said, emotionally. Uh, that kind of varies from time at this moment, but coming here to the Olympics, um, being the head star isn't an easy feat. So we're just trying to take it one day, one day at a time, and we'll see. So okay. uh, it's, uh, apparently it's a little tough on her, you know? Um, you know, just being the you. Simone Biles, wait, you know, wait, wait, that she is. So no, I was just saying like that, was saying, that's it. So... I, I respect the fact that mental health uh, is becoming something of a major, a major, the tennis, major, major The tennis player. girl did that too. I can't think of the But yeah, uh, but, the she, tennis. but she competed and she Osaka, lost. Osaka. 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 Naomi Osaka. Yeah, yeah, she Osaka. did it too. She Naomi competed. Osaka. She did it too. She said it, but then she 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 entered her name into the into the Olympics and then she lost. She lost to... No, 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 no. To, She withdrew. Totally. No, but she just competed and she just lost to I'm Czech not Republic. The Olympics. It was, it was, it was like the, the French Open. Yeah, but like she, she, she competed in the Olympics and she lost. To oh, she did? Yeah. Czech oh, so just, she, she ain't shit then. She just wasn't prepared. Oh. Uh, but <laughs> none of, You can't lose and then say, you know what? I'm but withdraw. nonetheless, no, but lost. nonetheless, like I said... <laughs> we get it, we get it, we get um, it. I respect the fact that mental health is becoming something that is a major issue to people because if this was something maybe 10, 15 years ago, we all know if she just said, I am mentally not okay to compete right now, people would have looked at her and said, go listen, even though you're not mentally okay to compete, fuck that. You represent your country, put it to the side and compete. Now she's like, hey, I'm not cool to compete, so I'm not competing. I got a question. Cool. And I respect it 110%. I had a question Shout out to about you. this whole 2021 cool. Olympics. Cool. Cool. Um, so my question is more of a statement that's going to round into a question. So the statement part of it is um, the opening ceremony had the lowest viewership since the 1992 Olympics. That's mm. one. That's one, right? So nobody's really watching it. Um, two, Shikari Richardson gets banned from competing for THC usage, but Shorty on the USA soccer team is is praised for having a whole CBD company, and she's actively using CBD in the Olympics now. So now what they're saying is you can get high from CBD, but you can't get high off of THC in the Olympics. So that's another thing. And then you get the whole mental health issue of Simone Biles, so she withdraws herself. Long story short, do we give a fuck about these Olympics? And, and then I, I go a step further with the, the USA basketball team, who they just look. ain't shit. They, they get look. smacked by it's everybody. It's not fair because they, no, you do can't we, use you can't use basketball. In it. Why? I'm just I'm just I'm just, it's but, just yeah. a compounding thing. What I'm saying is, oh no, I get whole, it. I care. Do, I do care. We yes. care. Do we? I do. So my question, my question as a whole is. Do you think the Olympics should have been skipped until this whole COVID shit was over and yes. everybody was 100% ready? Yes. Or mm. are you okay with the way that they are now? No, I... Okay, two-part question. One, I care about the Olympics because... Like, I, for me, for example, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nationalist, as they call it. Okay. My family's from Jamaica. Okay. And the number one thing that we do represent in is track and track field. Track and field, yes. And I talk big shit to you... <laughs> To you, to 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 my homeboy Drew. Shout out to my man. Drew. But as you should, everybody. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not even a bad way. But it's a competitive way to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I had a bet with him between Shikari Richardson and 
Cheryl Lynn, who was going to win the 100, the 100 meter sprint against the, who? Cheryl Lynn, the girl who's won it the last two years she for Jamaica. She wants to be in Shikari this year. You wildin'. But you see how that, but, but my point is, you see how that would make a dope ass. I get it. I get you know it. what I'm saying? So in competitive land, when I first heard that she dropped out, I was like, damn. Like, it takes away from, from the, you know what I'm saying? So I, I look forward to it because it's a way to bond with your people. But at the same time, you could talk shit. I get it. Now, I feel like personally they should have. I, there was no way I know the world was going to let the Olympics pass another four years. There was no way it was going to happen, but they should have. Because nobody's prepared. Nobody has a... T- no, they haven't taken the necessary precautions to prepare for it. Yeah. Right. It was supposed to happen last year, but because COVID, they didn't happen. So now they're like, shit, we got a year to prepare. No, 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 no. Take your time. Sit this one yeah, out. Yeah, but... No, I, I, I but at the same time... You know what I'm saying? They rushed it. They rushed the shit. But, but, these, but even well, Russian these, these Olympics way, but, are trash because it of, is. And you want to know why they did it? I'm a, you want to keep it a buck? The you want to know? Down crazy. You want to know why they? Shit. You want to know why they rushed it? Do you want to know the number one reason as to why they rushed it? And nobody's gonna say it. The United States of America. United States wanted this Olympics. Why? Because they. This was the first time they felt like Shikari Richardson was gonna win. All of these people were gonna had a possibility to win. <sighs> Know about that. And because they had a possibility to win certain things, they're like, you know what? We need United States of America to seem dominant in a time when the pandemic uh, is going crazy. Well, I, I'll say, Maybe I, I'm being a conspiracy theorist in myself. Wait, wait, wait. I, I agree with your premise. I just don't agree with the, the I guess, the, the, the surrounding evidence that you're laying. I personally feel like, like they, I, wanna, they want a United States of America to look like they're dominant, even in a pandemic. No, but, that but, part but, I agree with. But, but what I'm saying is every Olympics we dominate. So there's nothing different. But now we're what not, I'm saying, like but everything but dominate. everything is propaganda. So now in the Olympics, cool. Okay. Even in the face of adversity, United States of America can still win the 100 by 100 no, meters. I agree. I we think, can still I win that. the gold that. medal in the 400 part. relay. We part. can still win gymnastics. We can still win USA basketball for gold. I get that, that part. That shit would be running across the TV screens forever for the next four to, years. Honestly, but honestly, now, I have to, I, I, no, no. I just want to say I want to salute you. That's a really good take, and I agree with no, that. No, I, 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 I could be wrong. Know, like I said, I could be wrong. We know America would get off on the commercials. What <laughs> we yeah, won, we like you that. say, we if won we, even in the midst we, of the pandemic. You already if know. we won majority of the gold medals. 100%. Like the year Michael Phelps won the, how many gold medals he won that year? He won like a, a billion. That year, nigga, they was running that motherfucker through the ground. Every commercial, everywhere. So you need to tell me if we didn't. How many medals you win? A lot. How many golds you win? A lot. Bro, that commercial would have been going crazy. So you need to tell me, we win, United States win golds, medals in pandemic. In the pandemic? Oh, guess what? We the greatest country in the world. No, that's a fact. Go, we go, could be the go, go, go run for president. <laughs> no, he's doing that. He's doing that anyway. He's doing that anyway. He's doing his president. You know what I'm saying? So saying. imagine I, maybe part my of his brain... part of no, 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 no. But imagine part of his thing is well, I brought the Olympics. We the same way I got New York together is the same we way the world the won the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This whole yo, I I, I maybe it. I'm bugging, maybe I'm reaching, but that's how <laughs> yeah, I, I see it. it. Because the United States was like, no, we're having the Olympics. We got this. Having Olympics. So, cool. once, but once again, shout out to everybody who's still competing. Prayers to y'all. Hope y'all run a good race. Hope y'all boom a good basketball. <laughs> hope y'all swim a good swim. swim. Bo- boom a good ball. I hope you do a good flip. <laughs> all that. All of y'all. I hope y'all do a great job. You know what I'm saying? I, all of y'all. Do your best. Represent your countries well. Hey, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Jamaica has its first representative in the 700 meter dive. I was hype as you shit. The what? In the in the diving competition, we have our first representative ever oh, in Jamaica's Olympics. Jamaica's is jumping from off ledges right. into real the quick, pool. Oh, okay. You see me? He come fucking. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 but that's big. But but that's big on two levels. Okay, number one, black you. people don't fuck with water. Facts. So, so the fact that we even fucking with water is cool. Mm. Then the fact that you got a Jamaican person. Okay. Lit, Not nigga. That Jamaica and that nigga water. nice. I seen him. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. Look on Nemo on fish. You know why? Because it's you not a regular Jamaican jump. 
It's not That's a regular jump. That's what I'm saying. You got a regular jump. jump into the water. It's a you blood clot jump, okay? <laughs> it's a bumble clot jump. It's a jump. blood clot jump. <laughs> it's a Ross clot Bro, jump. Bro, when I saw it, I said, That's a lie. That's, and I saw something, he said, Boop. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. Nah, I said, oh, this nigga nice. Nah, I said, oh, it's lit. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, so, 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 wait, wait, so, so, yes. so, 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 does he jump a little? Is that how you, he jump? He, he jump, no. He jump, no. He jump, no. He jump, no. He not jump a little bit. He jump, no time. No time. No time. Yo, y'all gonna stop me up here. I would be mad Jamaican. Y'all already know me. It's Olympics. It's the Olympics. Cause listen, we yeah. already taking track and field. We might fuck around and take the diving. You're not taking track and field. You're not taking track. How are we not? Who's Actually, gonna beat us? Shakara's gone. Yeah. Shikara's gone. Yeah. Who the fuck is beating us? We you taking the relay. We taking the two hundred. We taking the four hundred. Y'all Who's still on? Y'all still on this? No, no, he's right. He, no, he's, yeah, no, he's, he's right. He's right. Y'all only you know, chance with Shakari. Right. Y'all only chance with her. She you know, gone. No, no. And they no, got her no. out of here for some weed, bro. I'm so mad, son. They got her out of here for some weed. That's a weird ass reason. Me and Drew was in the gym talking so much shit. We had a hundred dollar bet. He's like, yo, I bet you she smoked on a hundred meter. Word bet. As soon as that drug came out, I said, oh, guess who winning this one nah, here? Bro. And you know what's crazy? Her mom actually died. That's what it was. So, no, no. Like, I, I go a step further. It's like, she fa- come on. She found out on national television from the person right. interviewing her that right. her mom That's died. That's crazy. What? Yeah. Imagine that'll make a nigga want to blunt. Yeah, I need a smoke an L. Let me get yeah. that. Nah, roll that up. Nah, but bro. she and found out, like you say. You, and this yeah, is not my she friend. She found out in front of everybody on national. And like TV. I said, this is not my friend. Yeah, this I, is not I, my how family. Do you, how do you feel? How do you but feel? But competitive your mom wise, like, competitively. What? When it happened, I said, yo, not for nothing, son. I don't even want to win like this. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I wanted this race to happen. Not 100%. Yeah, like, not 100%. if this race would have happened fair. and if it was a neck and neck fair. thing, I'd have been like, ooh, it's lit. But it's like, come on, son. It's yo, not mind fair. you. Just passed. Well, first off, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Come Jamaica on, already got like six people in this, re- in this race. I'm just saying. But, okay, but so, I just, so, just want to point out. Field real quick. in Jamaica is the thing. We get that. We know that. But we but know. you all you always got two people you gotta worry about. You always gotta worry about Africans. And then you always gotta worry in the, about in the, the in the long the little, run. Oh the long run. I was about yeah, to say the little Cameroonian. Sprints. I'm talking about sprints. The fifty five meters, the, the hundred meters, yeah. like and the two the, right, the hundred right, meters, right, the two hundred right, meters. Yeah, and the four by four, the four by ones. That's that. If we talking about long distance, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you worried about everybody else. But you're not beating the Ethiopian and that shit. Yeah, the, the African Africans, they them are always the, the wrong long forever. distance. They gonna run yeah. they gonna until run. running gets look, look, They just run like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say they got the smile and they they walk through. The... <laughs> it's like, they what you laughing at? But if you're talking about sprinting, nah, they're nah, not, we're nah, not nah. talking about Africa. Nah, but once again, Prince and Shikari Richardson and her family. Prince, everybody competing in the Olympics. Everybody, Shout out man. to y'all. No, Good like luck. Said, uh, the, whole Wish Simone, you the whole Simone Biles thing. The, yes. whole, the whole USA Olympic period, I feel like we're dealing with a lot right now mm-hmm. with this COVID shit. Right. And we shouldn't even be here having these games. Nope. And they, they wanted to they do rushed. it to make normalcy and to... to to bring positivity right. towards the world, going to normal they life. They wanted it, so they but they wanted it's it. It's not a normal thought. time, and because of that, we're having abnormal situations, bro. They like, wanted it because right. they thought they was going to win. It's majority right. of it. I'm gonna do my DJ envy. Let's, let's, let's talk about right. Safari. What's up? Oh, real quick, real quick, real quick. Press the gong, Wade. Can we get? Let's go gong? with the gong, Wade. Can we get? Love it. Love it. Once again, thank you for watching Willow Wednesdays. Like and subscribe. I'm not going to lie. I like the gun. I do like the gun. Safari and Erica Mena. Shout out to them and their two beautiful babies. They just had another baby. I believe the baby that they, the last baby they had, it just just came out the NICU. Shout out to that. Prayers, 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 and claps for that. That's a blessing. They were on Love and Hip Hop and in Safari's home studio where her, Erica Mena and Safari were having a conversation about something. And they're. And their daughter was just walking around, playing around in the, in the studio, and she fell. And the guitar fell on top of her. So now, because it fell on top of her, she fell and it fell on top of her. And Safari laughed. He is now being scrutinized left, right, front, center, all over social media because 
he watched his kid fall and he laughed. <laughs> so we talking about that, man. Watching your kids fall. <laughs> like, what's I was so what the first thing I was gonna do is turn to the man with kids. The first the the only person on the on the panel with kids. You see one of your kids fall. Wait, can can we play this video so the world can see it? Do we have is it? There, is there a way that we can play? Wait, it? do you got the video? Ooh, if, if we can play, I'd like to play the first. If you can't plug it in, if you can, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Safari, pick her up, you freaking idiot! Like, what's your problem? I'm picking up. Okay, pause that's all we need to see. That's all we need to see. That's all we need to see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not laughing. Okay. I'm not laughing. I, I'm okay. Laughing. Can I be honest? <laughs> Can I be honest? Because listen, uh-huh. the, the, the wor- that's my camera. You, the world, you're bugging. You're hypocritical. You're unfair. You're unethical. Your mama don't love you. Your hair not growing. <laughs> Your, oh, your skin no. is blotchy. I mean, Uh-oh. are they wear no, are they wearing no, lotion? No, it's it's crazy to me. Yeah, you ash as hell. Yeah, Damn, <laughs> where I, I, he ain't hear me, James. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, and I'm a parent of two beautiful <laughs> black babies, Alfred. Uh-huh. Two beautiful black babies that are flourishing in this world right now. Uh oh, talking but shit. Love it. If my kids were to fall, one, I'm going to laugh. Like, y'all are wilding. Like, that shit is funny. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, Will it's I be funny. there to help them up? Absolutely. Will I be there of to course. console them? Absolutely. But. I think the funny part of that video, he was like, she, I, she no, ain't even heard. No, no, but once again, <laughs> we're talking about fathers, right? And I, I hate where we are as people because we're so sensitive. And we're so right. cancel culture, and we're so like get the fuck out of here. But bro. you gotta like, remember. Wait, wait, let me let me let me just go. Let me just go. Let me just go. Let me go. What? When kids fall and and kids hurt themselves, us as parents, what we do collectively is say we're not gonna make a big deal out of it mm-hmm. because once you make a big deal out of it, that's when you get the reaction from the kid. So right. it's it's a it's a known thing that we do. Yeah. Okay, you fell. You good, baby. Brush it off. Brush, you okay. There's nothing right. wrong with it. And because guess you, you what? Have that, to... that builds character in that child. Mm-hmm. If if every time your child fell and you was like, oh, boo boo, oh no. You know what's crazy? They soft. I still and we think know that. that. We know that as people. So when I saw this video and this reaction and the baby fell, yes, a part of me was like, oh no, help the baby. But another part of me was like, well, let that baby get up because guess what? It's gonna build a little character, yeah, and it, that it, baby will be okay in the long run. I have right. two things to say to that. The that's thing, fine. the problem that as that's against the far is because it's compounded upon the situation where he had his baby in the NICU, and he was in Jamaica partying. So that's what they oh, said. Well, I, I don't know that part. I don't know. That's that part. that's the part of the reason why people are killing him so much. That's what. Can, can I say one thing? I'll let you go. I'm gonna say this. I don't know nothing about these celebrities' lives. I don't. So, but that's why yeah, people are killing him. Like people okay, so people are killing Safari support? right now because apparently when Erica Mena gave birth to the to their second child. Yeah. The one the that baby, fell? No. The, they have a, she's pregnant technically now in the video now, but oh, okay, she just okay, had okay. birth recently. Shout out to her. God bless. Their baby was born, and I think there was complications, and the baby was in the NICU. Oh wow! For a couple days, I think a couple weeks actually. Was the baby good. Now, yeah, the baby's Thank out. God. Thank but God. he was What's in Jamaica Nick, partying. The NICU. The NICU is the baby ICU. It's the baby newborn ICU. I, newborn ICU, yeah. pretty much. It's the the incubator. Oh, the, yeah. oh right. The now. baby was born, it, it, and the baby was premature. It was a little, it was a little or, clear. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Yeah, the baby was born shits. premature, yeah, or there was your hands in the whatever. Oh, man, something, I, something honestly, was. Just, the baby was just had there. complications at birth when they were born, so the baby had I to just stay. Never heard of, I never heard of a NICU. So because That's of that, kind of the baby was in the NICU, and yeah. he was in Jamaica partying. Doing this, doing that, While but not baby was, was in, in the NICU, and she was there every day with the daughter. With his, I don't know if they had a daughter. Now, question: Was he contractually obligated to be there with, with the baby? baby? That no, was to be in out. Jamaica. I, that I don't know. I don't know. But people were just like, it doesn't matter. People see it as it doesn't matter if your child is in the NICU 
fighting for their life. There's no reason for you to be in Jamaica dancing. Like, there's videos of him dancing, partying, having a good time while his baby's in the NICU. Cool. Well, that's why people were. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, Can I be finished? No, 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 it, 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 part of their jobs as the reality TV people is they have to be out and be in places. So if you notice, so fa- no, no, but I'm just saying, Safari so not selling music, he's not selling art. Like my nigga is legitimately a personality. So he's paid to go around and be and do. Now I'm not defending him. I'm just saying that part of his job description is you book me here, that's where I'm gonna be. Where I'm going, cool. that's where I'm at. And- so See, it's that's ups- why you know I- what I'm saying. It's unfortunate this is going on with my family and shit, but my nigga, that's his job. Sorry, if I'm not defending him. Obligated and you're, and you're contractually that might be obligated. Yeah. No, I'm Same with you. I, 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 I get it. You're now hired so, to but be. But that's that why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying people are mad about the baby falling and him not picking. It's no, a no. compounded issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It, I get it. That's I get why it. I'm saying that. That happened first. That clip of him being in Jamaica dancing, his kid in the NICU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happened first, and then now the kid falling. And he's laughing. People are like, yo, you just ain't shit. It's a compounded end issue. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. You know what I'm that saying? That makes more sense to me. So it's a multiple... Yeah, so they're like, you already was that meeting your kid sense. in the NICU dying and you was in partying. Then now you watching your kid fall and you just watching your kid fall and you laughing. It looks crazy. Whatever. Yeah, it look, it, but now... You know, what, you, know what, you know what's fucked up to me? What's fucked up to me is you get somebody like Safari, right, who may not be there because he's fulfilling his contractual obligations. Mm -hmm. But then you get somebody like Lauren Hill, who doesn't give a fuck about her contractual obligations. She's there for her family 10 times out of 10. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Now the world talks down on the person who's there for their family 10 times out of 10 and says, Mm. fuck the contractual obligations, but then on the flip side, somebody who doesn't honor the contractual obligation, but it, like, there's no winning when it comes to celebrity, that, right? That's Be- because if, if you're a safari and you honor your contractual obligations, it's fuck you. But if you're a Lauren Hill and you honor your family and disregard the contractual you. obligations, it's still fuck you. Right. So... How does a celebrity maneuver through these times? Right. Because obviously they can't win. They're then, bad parents regardless. And then what I was also going to say to you was, I agree with the sentiment of things happen. Remember when... He didn't answer your daughter, question, though. He didn't answer your question. Who, me? Yeah, he has a, he, he no, ended with a question. No, because I was, I just, I was trying to finish... Was like, I had an answer, but, but, but go ahead. I was just trying to finish... The whole time I've been trying to finish <laughs> what I was saying real quick, but every time I said a word, y'all both cut me off to ask well, a it, question. It's not, it's not a cut off. It's, it's, we're really no, I get it. And what, and saying, what I was you're gonna, saying multiple things. That's all. You know. It was, it was going to be quick. And you also the, are the mediator. So I was trying to... to quick, you know what I'm saying? But what I was also going to say is, remember when your daughter was first born and you told your, your wife, you said, listen... The day that's going to come when she's going to fall and fall off the bed and hit her head. Yeah. And the day it happens... I'm going to laugh. It's going to happen and she's going to cry and yes. you're going to lose your mind. But yes. guess what? It's going to it's happen gonna be okay. and it's supposed to happen. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. Uh-uh. My baby never going to fall. You can't name one baby on earth that's never ne- Oh, it's never going to fall off the... My baby never going to fall off the bed. My baby never going to fall off the bed. Cool. You're right. Low Your baby key, never gonna fall off the bed. Low key, babies' bones and shit is like nimble. Like them niggas could backflip more, fourteen times off of shit and be more fine. More low like, key, more low key high than key. that low key. High key, but low key, high key. You're not a parent until the baby falls off the bed. Like what? That's an unwritten. That's an unwritten rule Yo, from what I've you, heard. You are not a parent. I'm looking dead in my camera. You're not a parent. Until you're sleeping and your child falls off the bed. It's, and, hey. that, and you jump up to that scream. When you hear that, it's you not a frightened. regular cry. It's like a deep, from the gut, the soul. When your baby cries for real mm-hmm. and they fell off the mm-hmm. bed, it's like, oh shit, wait a minute. 
But because that's when you you've been there before, and and, all and that other it's shit the real. Me is bullshit. It's called like, listen, hey, I mean, it happens. It Baby, happens. It's, it's supposed to happen. That little girl. It's not like it's not in the video. It's not like the little girl head bust open. Bro, it was just we, we all in our <laughs> adult years. Guess what? We all fell off the bed, my nigga. You, 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 you. Everybody here fell off the bed. Listen. And guess what? We alive. We yeah. thriving. Yeah, my, like my, I said, my, it's my, a con- my, because of it's my mom used to tell me stories about? of um, how my head was so big that, like, when I would walk, nah, I would like still big, bro. fall over into the walls and shit. Yeah, and so she would always make tumbling? jokes like, "It's abnormal." Nigga, I, no, but I would tumble down everything. Like if it was stairs, and I looked down and said, "I'm falling down the stairs." You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, like, it's like, big I was just head. led by my head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had nothing. You head lit. Yeah, yeah. You very, so you shit. Headless, I was man. I was that kid. It was like if he on the swing, head. he gonna swing, yeah. and they gonna fall off the swing with the head. Because I just okay. so, you know, like I said, it's a compound. It's that's shit. why Dane was that's why heavy his whole life. He just, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 100%. It's a compounded issue for Safari. So Safari doesn't look good right now in the eyes of the people because you left your baby in the NICU. Honestly, to go party, it's all right, man. Where we at? Where I, we at on time? I, I just feel I just I just feel like social media. No, I, I feel like we live in an era in an age of cancel culture, mm-hmm. and it's so easy to disagree with someone, but your disagreement turns into cancellation. And it's crazy to me because we all grew up different. We didn't grow up the same. So if you scrutinized our parents the same way that these new parents are being scrutinized... Oh, you got to kill my mama. You feel me? My mom would have been dead a million times according to y'all niggas. What? Right. I'm West Indian. Like, uh, I'm you know how many times I fell on rock and hardwood and all, What? How many times are you Every fell? time I done walked into a wall or some shit and my mom said, good Boom. for you. What are we talking about? Good for you. You should have been paying attention. Pay attention. I told yep. you not to do that. So because so, you want to do that, that's on you. And, that, Y'all and, and cry mom, if you want my to. My grandmother, my mm, aunts, everybody right. would have been canceled because it was a different time. Like these kids will be okay. Listen, that baby fell. Don't kill Safari he, for. No, he don't kill the baby. Yeah, it's okay. don't kill Safari for his daughter laughing it's and he laughed. Like, it's okay. If he now, if he really did leave his baby in the NICU like that, and he was just yeah, out there partying, yeah, yeah, that's different. I can't that's something that. different that I, I can't, can't speak, speak on. I can't defend that. And that's nuts. Yes, I can't defend that. That's Yo. nuts. Um, that's nuts. Uh, if you talking about a baby bumping their fucking head around the parents, and he laughed, honestly, that happens every day. Cause my quick, son, guys. who's seven, let him bump his head right I'm now. I'm a laugh. I'm a laugh. What? You, I'm a laugh. You dead ass. All right, so, so I, real quick, I just want to say that we did very well to get into our topics, and I want to salute you fellas because we did it. Oh, we finished? I know. Uh, we no, got we more. got the, the, we the got first three. We got one more, and then the possible other one if we do. But you know what I'm saying? But we did Let's it. it. I'm proud of us. Press it. Press it. Gong. Press, press it. Gong. 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 All righty, all righty, oh, oh, fucking with the gong. No, 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 I don't want to hear it. Can't joke. say it now. Too late. Gong, Too gong, 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 gong. <laughs> Why did I laugh? I'm so sorry. Ooh. Why was that funny to me? Even. It wasn't no, it was funny, funny to me. I'm drinking. That shit was hilarious. I'm like, gong, 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 gong. <laughs> That's stupid. That's yeah, a drunk that joke. Was funny. That's that how I know y'all hang out for real. That's a terrible joke. That's how I know y'all hang out for real. No, it's terrible, but if you're drinking, it's hilarious. All right, I'm with it. That's gong, how I know gong, y'all hang gong, out for real. Gong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All these Asian I'm, people. See, the joke to me, it, you in China like, gong, 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 like, gong, gong. All right, see, you know what I'm saying? You got to get, come on, man. That's, that's actually a great joke. <laughs> like, oh, that's the joke shit. you do in Taiwan, Yo, nigga. That's the, you just that's made, you just made, no, 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 you just made that joke funny. <laughs> that, that, he said, made that, that joke. No, you made that joke funny. <laughs> He made that joke funny just now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he I said it. AJ. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, because you made that joke funny. Okay. Anyway. Oh, you you didn't see that when you... Oh, so he made No, it, it was I, just ha, ha. It was corny uh, to me. But then so you, you the just picture. made it funny. You made it funny. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway. I'm a producer, baby. Um, I, You just so made it Go funny. ahead. Oh, now we suck a teeth. Teat. Yes. Teat with a T, nigga. Teat. <laughs> you suck a teat. Go to the next one, man. I got to pee. Can man. You... Get started. So stop talking. Valid. Y'all think somebody's great. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, wait. That was perfect timing, bro. That was good. That was great timing. Yo, bro. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you're saying, because I just want to hear it, and I got to pee. Right. Y'all think somebody raised from love can handle a person raised from survival? Wow. Talk about it. Let's get it. This is how we're going to end the show. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. And we still got to give it like maybe 20 minutes. You said someone raised... Off of love. Love. Read it. Can it was handle, good. Can handle was, someone raised, raised off, of survival. off of survival. I'm. I spark it by saying... Go use the bathroom. Yeah, I got to go because I'm over here. I'm, yeah, I'm rocking. Yeah, go I'm ahead. like... Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, bye, right, bye. Right, go, right, go, right, go. All right, go, all right, go, all right. Go, all right. We're going to talk. Okay, so... <laughs> Someone raised off of love mm-hmm. and someone raised off of survival. Mm-hmm. Do we think they can coincide, right? That, that's what's going you say on. you wanted to answer first. Go ahead. Um, I personally feel like eventually they will get to that point, but mm. initially, no, it'll be war. Um, I feel like it's two different worlds. Mm-hmm. Um, it's two different point of views. Mm. Um, I feel like this is kind of like the the classic Aladdin story that like you got the prince and the peasant type princess of and the peasant. Yeah, princess and the peasant, right? Um me personally, I wasn't raised from love. Like I I wasn't raised in a, a mother and a father. It was just your moms and but not even my moms, but I moved out young. Like me and my mom had issues when I was growing up and I was on my own. Mm-hmm. Ju- sophomore, junior year of high school. So, like, to get real, to get personal, it is what it is. Like, mm-hmm. I, I love y'all, y'all family, but I feel like I didn't have the the upbringing that a, a typical sixteen year old would True have. Fact. Like, so, with me being on my own and me being at odds with my parents, mm-hmm. that's survival. True I had to fact. learn how to survive. It wasn't fact. raised out of love. So that's a fact. When I did meet, and I, I do have someone in my life right now who was raised out of love, like, did we initially click? No. True. You have to learn that. Right. But I I feel like you have to give the, the, that person the opportunity to... It... Steel you know sharp and steel and, and, and stone <clears throat> sands down stone stone until you're 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 perfect fit for one another. It's the, it's like it's like it's like the conversation we had a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about um advice we would give women yeah. in terms of dealing in, in a relationship as a man. Mm-hmm. But this what I'm about to say apl- applies in this specific topic. You I feel like a person who's been raised off of love can Handle someone based off of survival if, if and only if you give this person the grace to grow, to grow and find themselves and figure it out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, but is that practical? I feel like in, in this day and age, it has it is why because people growing up in New York City now, granted, I didn't have the extreme. In terms of living on my own from sixteen, like you did, but yeah. I was raised in a one family in a one parent household. It was me and my mom, Dukes. I didn't have a father, and my mom was working two, three jobs, so I had to figure out shit on my own, just the same way. So, because of that, in a sense, that is survival and dealing with women who may necessarily have been raised by both parents or their their family dynamic is so oriented on love and there's so many of them. They, their mother and father may not be there, but they have an aunt and an uncle who show great examples and then another aunt and uncle and then cousins and then sisters and brothers and this, that, and the third. They see so much of it. It's like, damn, nah, I know what love is. So you know what? You moving on some type of time like, you know what? No, 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 I don't need this. Like I had a conversation with a young lady the other day, right? Where I said, yo, we talk about Haitians and Jamaicans all the time. Haitians, their family dynamic is family. We help one another. We love one another. You need help with something? Cool. What you need? I got you. You hungry? We, the family going to cook you food. Mm-hmm. Your, rent, your rent due and you don't got it? Everybody in the family going to give you $100 so your rent paid this month. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Jamaica's now, my rent short. Damn. Then yeah, I, you can't even call my fucking phone talking about your rent short. You crazy? Because they rent short. The fuck is you talking about? 
Everybody's short. Everybody's Everybody short. short. Like, so guess yeah. what? You got to figure that shit the fuck out. Because the same way I have to figure it out. But... And the difference is, in terms of love, they love each other so much, we do whatever we have to do to help one another. Yeah. Whereas now, over on this side, cool, I'm getting it out the mud, how you getting it out the mud? Even though they're doing the same thing, but they were like, you know what, no, 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 no. We're going to still figure out a way to help each other. Here, no, no, no. However you get it, you get it. And it's, cr- and that, and it's crazy to me. But that it, it gives it, like Yo, I said, you, you have me? to give the person the grace and the time to figure it out. I feel like it can work. I just want to make sure y'all can. If you give them the time and the group. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, no, no, fair enough. All right, okay. okay, I'm about to pull you in after Barry finish. If you just have, if and only if you give that person the space and the time to to, to grow and figure it out. You have to. If you don't, then it will never work, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Go ahead, Dame. So talk to me. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. Go ahead. All right. What you think? What you think? Um, think? What I honestly think about this concept, and I'm mad Mm -hmm. that he's not here to hear it. Um, but I think that this is the most dynamic thing that is the problem within black people. Seriously. Mm-hmm. The, like the, in my, in my opinion, the sole reason why we haven't gotten our shit together mm-hmm. is this reason. Literally this thing right here that we just fucking mentioned. And that's why like, um, when this when this idea was posed, it fucked me up because mm-hmm. I realized that in real life, that's what the problem is. I've been trying to use this word. It's the juxtaposition <laughs> between love and survival. And that's literally the problem between all of the black people in America, all the black people in the West Indian countries, all the black people across the world. We are all mm-hmm. dealing with racism and fuckery which has but us answer, separated but before before you get to this point and i love the okay. point you're getting to i need right. you to answer the question you didn't answer the question you going deep before answering the question first you'd have failed your ela test you'd have failed your ela test because you didn't <laughs> answer the question gotcha. you're doing all this great other shit but did you answer the question all answer right. the question so, brother. I was gonna say re re ask it just so I make sure I got it. My bad. Can a person with love growing up raised with love handle a person raised on survival? I think that a person can, Mm -hmm. but you have to you have to be kind of like open. You have to be open Open to to accept. You have to be open to accept a different idea. Um Okay. Because what Explain happens is, like, I got you. I know how to talk. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm asking out no, loud. I'm just, I'm just no, 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 I got you, man. No, because you, it, it, it's flipped two different ways. I'm a person who was born in love, you know, mm-hmm. mad love, but then I was forced into survival. Right. So my problem is, it was hard for me to love as a person right. that's been in survival. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, Absolutely. you want to come to me with all this love shit. It's like, fuck that. I got to survive. So I feel I the same way. Right. Yeah, I don't got time to be all in love with you and shit. Like, what the fuck is love, my nigga? Like, I'm trying to figure out how to mm-hmm. just live. And it, Make you it know. Make it day to day. Right. But I was born in love. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I get that part. But nah, I spend too much time surviving. So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, yes, I believe it can happen, but I just believe that each person have to be open to the other person because a person like me who's in survival which you even know i struggle for just regular friendships i struggle for regular relationships and i struggle with working relationships with bosses and managers <laughs> like i i struggle with all of that because my whole shit is survival but, he, but let me ask you a question and i wish this is one thing where i wish willow was here to ask this that's question. what i'm saying i wish he was here we could hold it if you love, want like, love i feel like is it, I feel like even in survival, though, there's this, there's, there's, there's a form of love in its purest form. Why, why I say that is because even through all of that, through the roughest of mm-hmm. moments, and I mean, I can only use my own example. My mother is my mother and I going through all that we went through. Sure. And her doing all that she did to make sure that I was okay, and we were surviving. That's the purest form of her showing her love to me. So now, 
could you necessarily say that that person who was in survival didn't know love or didn't grow up on love? Maybe maybe I'm going a little too deep, or maybe I'm going no, too but, far. but 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 fine. When Willie get back, he gonna miss all of this, and that's okay. Um, I think that there's there's levels to love, the same way there's levels to no. I don't even want to make it too right, right. esoteric. <laughs> But there's levels to love. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it's a parent's job to protect their kid. So First and foremost, fact. So I'll ask you, is it love to just protect your kid? Is that love? Or is that what you do as a parent? I feel like it is. I feel like it is love. Is it? Because yeah, because you don't protect you don't protect something that you don't care love and care for. Nah. But see, this is what fucks me up about parenting, and this also what fucks me up about people who have pets. By the way, I just want to, I just want to mm-hmm. show you where I'm going. Um, you feel this innate thing. Uh, you feel this innate feeling Focus on to want to protect mm-hmm. this thing. Mm-hmm. Talk, Dan. Go ahead. I don't know. It's cool. I'm assuming you're coming back. But you yeah, feel this talk, innate man. feeling to protect this thing because mm-hmm. it's your thing. So I must right. protect it, right? Um, I can put that in any type of I can put that in any type of um, but I can put that same type of energy into anything. I make music, so I feel the need to protect my music. You know, mm-hmm. if I make clothes, I would feel the need to protect my clothes. If I make shoes, I would want to protect my shoes. We get it. I can do a hundred examples, but you understand what I'm right, saying. Right, right, right. I bought this pet, so so I, I bought this pet, so I I feel I must protect this dog because I bought this mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Is that love or is that just protection because I made this and it's my job to protect it? And what I what I feel, I, and like I said, this is an opinionated statement, but I feel like a form of protection is a part, is a, is a, is a rhetoric of love because mm-hmm. I don't, I agree. I don't feel like you just protect something because you just want to, you just protect it. I if agree. you don't care for something, you don't. You wouldn't. Protect you don't have reverence to it. Another great form of word. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you yeah, wouldn't, no, you wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because but people protect things that that they control, and that's the even, point I'm trying to. But even with control, there's some and, love towards control. I'm now. I'm not saying control isn't can't be used in a bad way. But even though you control it, that doesn't mean you don't care for it and you don't love it. You love the fact that you control it. Okay, okay, so you know what I'm saying we're going very deep with it. I know, I, now we we, I we went into like a deep I, I, dive, Jay. And you you missed yeah, it. I'm cool, sorry. No, cool, cool. I I heard. I, I may have missed it, but I just want to speak to the word control. Right. But you just fucked um, me up with what you just said because he said even if you control it, you love the control. So some love there. So like, all right, bro, I see you. But go ahead, Jay. So, my bad. I, 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 I'm gonna say this. Um, the word control is a triggering mm-hmm. word. It is very. It's, it's very because it can be bad. Right. Yes. More so for the negative. Um, right. Instead of saying control, I I I, I want to put like an adjective or a, a feeling in there that that's kind of like control, but not because control may be seen or looked at as negative. So but I, no, no, no. But I, but I, but it, the reason. But wait, real quick before we before we start flipping up words, Jay, you just yeah. came back. The reason why this is important to me is because what what, what I was the, the point I was trying to make was right before you came back is I was saying uh, we were talking about like parenting right and yes. and you love your kids or, or do you or do you, or you protect your kids right I get that you do both I get that part but I'm just saying you protect Damn. your child because it's yours but that's not versus that has just nothing to do with control. Wait, no, no we went does. like we we we, we went, went further. No, no, it, it doesn't. It has nothing no, to do with you control. Have to... No, damn that, it, Dan man. just said it does. No, nah, I'm just trying to. It's hard to give a synopsis because you. And missed... real quick, yeah, no, he no, missed. No, 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 we're just, no, I get what you're saying. Just... You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He's right. 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 Let me go. But, let me go. Let me but go. you missed. You missed how it got there. So that's that's. I I, 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 I understand that, but if if your premise if your premise is saying control is the key word, I'm gonna say I a thousand percent. But no, and that's not what he's saying. And that that and that's what he's saying. It was that's that's why I was saying you're right. As as long as we're not. You're right. As far as no 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 that no. And don't by the say, way, no say, matter what word, I, I, I don't love my kids or have kids or want to control them. To control them, control, no, of agreed. Course. Yeah, of course. Cool. 
So Dave and I were talking, and he was saying that how he feels like, um, can you, pre- the, the question he posed, what I first said is, oh, damn, I forgot what I said, but he pretty much said, I could, can I, you I protect remember. something? Is that, is that still love if you protect something? That's what he first stated. Right. And I said, I feel like you can, you can protect something right. if you now, love. No, 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 real quick. No, love, let me, just, let me then, just give it some context, Jay, just in case, right. real quick. So I said, anything that you control, you protect. That's what That's I said. What That's why the word control came up. So what That's I mean what is, you have a child. You protect your child. Is that love? Now, you can buy a dog. You That's control the fact that you bought a dog. You protect your dog because it's yours. Right. Is that love? No, no, but this is what I'm trying to, but this is my point. It's, it's, the, ju- it's the juxtaposition of all these ways. You missed it because I used the word juxtaposition. No, that's but then that's point. why you this walked in on, that's why you walked in on the tail end. What I said, we were talking when about I said, and, remember, because you know then I said, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that if it is something that you protect, you still love it. Remember, I, like I said, love is still a a, 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 a small caveat within the, the umbrella yeah, of I, love. I I guess with me, I just don't like the blending of those words because they 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 mean no no it, but no honestly it, it went in a way, but you just yeah. came in at the wrong part. But so, at the same so time, we also have to understand. I don't know which I don't know which way y'all is trying to slice it. I just can't. Get, so then I, I, so then so then so it. okay so then so then boom. Let's just get back to the original topic. Right for the people mm-hmm. that heard it, you know what I'm saying. I get it. Fine, that happens. I get it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, fine. I'm easy, bro. Let's just. I just feel like it. even if I if, even if I heard it the way you had said it, I would disagree with it. Is what I'm trying to say. No, it's well, but you, what you. I mean, say. listen. If that's what you think right now, maybe I don't know. When we when we post the show, you can go back and watch it. At the end of the day, let's get back to the original point. But yeah, right. <laughs> do you feel so, that a person born from and then that's where it came from? Do you feel like a person? This is where it started. I said, I got you. even a person born in survival. For example, okay. like you and I, right? Yes. We all were. My mother is a single mother working three jobs. I had yeah. to look, figure it out. I said, yeah. even in its purest form, my mom doing what she had to do. Yes. That is still a form of love. Because, you know what? Or even in protection. our survival, even in our survival mode, she did what she had to do for us to survive. This is, is what she felt love? like she needed to do at any point in time for us to protection? get by. So now, even uh, with, and what I said is, is that not still some form of love in its purest form? Granted, it, it may not have been. Or was it protection oh, because that's your kid? Jay, this, 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 but this is what I'm saying. Protection is still a form, it's still love, baby. Because you're not going to do all of that for someone you don't love. Listen, what, what Bari, what Bari is doing right now is you can't, you can't fight it. And, and, Damn, and, no, 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 let me go. But this Damn, is this why the conversation right? went the way it went. So, just so exactly. You know. so, 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 now so, you see what I'm saying? So because you can't so now when you came Bar- in on certain Barbie's words, not wrong. Like, yeah, Bar- Barbie's not wrong at all. Like, he's not wrong at all. Like, it is love. But at the same time, to your words, Dan, you can't fight it. There's, there's no, certain, that's and that's like, why a conversation he, went that way. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. word semantics. It's like we're we're and playing no, certain but, words that we can't and that, fight. And that's why I said maybe I and I even said it today. I said maybe I went too far because it was going too deep. But like I said, people nah, who but, love the the way you categorize when you hear the word love, you make it seem like it's cherry pick, it's white picket fences, and a mother and a dad. And and a dog and your brothers and sisters and your family together every weekend having Sunday dinner and everybody goes to church and this then the third when it's like that doesn't necessarily mean that that's not love I, okay that love is great but survival to me can seem like the ultimate form of love as well my mom just showed my mom going to work three three nights in a row four nights in a row could be love for me yeah. And because that's that's, 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 a, that's a norm to us. Exactly. So that's why I said, yo, so maybe people who deem survival as such a crazy thing, they can, they, that's why I said, they can, they can maybe possibly learn to handle somebody who's been through that if they just give the grace and the opportunity right. to just. So if you know I got to be big, I if I got to be big brother and just sum all of this up, mm-hmm. um, pretty much love and survival is subjective to you. That's a fact. And, beca- and because it's subjective, not objective, it's subjective. So because of that, something that survival to you may have been love to somebody else or vice versa. 
something to you that was love could have just been survival, nigga. That's it. Yeah. To this day, I love, I love Taco Bell. Not because I love Taco Bell. It's because when my mom was broke as fuck, she used you to give me to that Taco 59, Bell. 69, 79. Yeah. And then, because that's and, what we did. And, and, and in my head, with, it was love. But that's survival. That's a memory for you. That's but, but, a, but that's, that's a, what I'm trying to I say. Know, if, but that no, but that is no, wait, survival. Hold on, hold on. For no, you, it's, it's survival, but for, no, no, for no. Dame, that was survival. No, it's love no. for Dame. It's love for me, bro. Because he loved and that's that why 59, I love 69. Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah to but to your day, mom, it, she was like, this is all I can provide. But it's interpreted exactly. to him as love. No, that's no, my no, point. No, 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 I'm not that's saying that you're point. wrong. No, no, I get no, that. No, right, 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 right. We're, we're all yeah, on the no, same no, page. We all agree. We all agree. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. It's And that's what I'm saying. It's subjective. Because to me, Taco Bell is love. It's the in greatest thing life. in the world. But it to your survival. mom, she was like, listen, I'm out here trying to make ends meet. <laughs> Facts. Nigga. Listen, like, that, I swear to and God. She, and little like, dude, I can do the 79 cents. I can do that. And little dude, she know you over there excited as shit. Like, oh, we love getting it. Taco Bell again? Love it. Yo. Love it. I, yo, I, Low key, I, I, it's the reason why no. I love Mexican food to this day. Y'all know that about I, me. I love tacos. Nigga, I love yo, Mexican I, I used to food. Really, I love Chipotle. I used to, I used to love, I used to love mm-hmm. going to McDonald's. Mm. McDonald's was the thing. Like my pops well, used to, of course. mind you, it, mind you, it's a, it's a bullshit fast food ass restaurant. But my pops used to pull up to McDonald's and we'll right. get a meal. And to this day, like I'm, I'm grown, my nigga. I got two kids of my own. But to this day, I remember. Going to right. McDonald's with my pops because it was a thing. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on so now. I, I, I definitely get what you're you, saying. You want to you wanna know how real that's I, 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 I promise you I get what you're you, saying. Since y'all want to go down this road, you want to know why Baron Davis is my favorite player? Because <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm explaining this to you, right? I'm sorry. My bad. No, 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 I, no, I, wait, wait. I, I got it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I Before you tell me, this. I just wanted to get my laugh out. I just wanted to get my right. laugh out. The reason why. The reason why Baron Davis is my favorite player, right? And it may sound weird. Go for it. It's all right. He Nothing was weird. my. I, you already know I'm disconnected from my father. He ain't shit. But he was the first man. He was the first basketball player that I ever heard him acknowledge as semi good. Outside of mm. Stephon Marbury. Because I never Damn, forget. Damn, I wish I had a we button. Was, Come on. We was, it's something, we Wade. Was, this is crazy. We was, I didn't know this. His, I, I was at his crib and the Knicks were playing. Listen, listen. I'm, 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 I'm giving you. I'm giving. I'm explaining the story to Hold you. On, I never Jay, forget. No, it. I never heard this. Do, have you heard this story, Jay? The no? Knicks. The Knicks were playing. Stephon Marbury was playing the Charlotte Hornets. Okay. The Charlotte Hornets at Madison Square Garden, and Stephon Marbury had twenty-seven and a half, but Baron Davis had thirty. Okay. Mm. Right. For whatever reason, I was just at this nigga crib for the first time, and this motherfucker was all Jamaican time. men are the, all Jamaican men are, New, are Knicks fans. We know this. Yeah, my, that's a my fact. bad. My bad. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm on the TV. My bad. This the first time you was at your dad's crib. You said first no, time. no, no. This was no, no, no. I'm a first time, but I was just I was one of the few times I was at his crib. Got you. You just said for okay, right? right. I just thought, okay. And Stephon Marbury got. They was I remember never forget it. Clyde Frazier was Barry Davis is having a great game. And the motherfucker and I never forget my pops are sitting at the edge of the little corner couch shit. And the motherfucker yeah. says, Yo, this motherfucker here is killing us. He not he high. He not even all that good. <laughs> and, and I'm like, he not at even least you admit it. And too. I guess and I seen it in his face, like the motherfucker wanted to say he was nice, but he was like, I think he not that good. Steph is way better than him. And right. I turned, and I'd never forget, as soon as I turned to the TV, it was him and Steph on the island. He baked Steph, hit Steph in the head for a three. End of the half. I said, oh, this nigga, nice. And ever since then, I've been a Baron Davis fan. Wow. Ever since then, I've been a Baron Davis fan. So you see how you, you, you connect emotionally with something? Yeah. And, and, you know and, that, and that's why I say, that's what makes this whole shit subjective between struggle and love. Because Crazy your dad wasn't even... Ended. Your dad I don't even know how that really, game ended, but your dad didn't even give a fuck. He was just watching the game. My mama didn't give a fuck about Taco Bell, but she was for, just trying you know to feed what I'm saying? You. It was love. It right. was love versus survival. So I can see how it changes who you are as a person. So then that question of can you deal with a person like that? 
you got to be open. Because mm-hmm. I've been survival my whole fucking life. Yeah. So, honestly, I, 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 I yeah. said it earlier when Jay was away. I'll say it one more time just to run it home for the people who's watching. Who's like, you said this already, nigga. But at the end of the day, that's black people problem. Our only problem mm-hmm. is black people is that we can't fix this. We mm-hmm. all are survivors trying to figure out how to nigga. love. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, that's, bro, you know what's funny? When, when we came up with the topics earlier yeah. and I was going through the topics in my head, I literally said the same thing you just said right now mm. about black people. Like we've been in survival mode for thousands of years. It was That's like, it. It's, it's it's this is not a new thing to us. It's like Yo, white supremacy like, created survival in black people. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's I, so I, real. It's bro, so I, real. I, I feel like me, me personally, I love my mom to death, but mm-hmm. we've been in survival mode. Survival, like for, like for eons, my nigga. That's, That's what it. we do. But that's the reason why we shine. It's the reason why we're great. Because even in survival, we make shit. We make it happen. Yeah. It's so crazy. It's as black person. people. I as had a really bad Black joke. people, when we, we, when we finally, it's so, we're so used to survival that when we meet an individual who meets us with love, you automatically think like a nigga trying to line it's you. Funny. Like, Yo, but what's that, up with but, you? But, like, that's, but funny. that's the question. Back the fuck that's up, dude. That's the question. Like, that's the question. And, and, that, so now, and that makes so much sense, man. And, and you know, so I'm with it. Yo, man. love is scary, bro. Survival is easy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Survival mm. is an easy thing. Love is hard, I bro. I don't think love is hard because, yo, honestly, said. if I... <laughs> Success has got to be easy. No, 50 said life must be easy because death, death is hard. hard. No, he physically, mentally, no, he said other way. He said, hard. he said, death got to be easy because life is hard. Yeah. You said it the other way. All right. My bad. Sorry. You said it the other way. My bad. I got a different one. And, and I'm going to just do this because I, I You got a minute. Kind of... Literally a minute. No, no, I'm with it. Um, I think that. Y'all fucked me up because you went to the 50. I was right there. But um, mm-hmm. what's it like? No survival. No, no, I got it. I got mm-hmm. it. So survival. So you said no, no, Bar. You just said survival is easy and love is hard. My bad. Mm-hmm. I called it. It is. Okay. I think it's okay. the. I think it. I think it's the opposite. I think that survival mm-hmm. isn't. Survival is easy because it's what we're used to. But I think love is easier because we are love because we are God. With black people, God Ooh. is love. We are love. I That's why we are what it Ooh. is. We are what it is. The essence. What it is. The the we pure are. being. No, no, I I get it. I get it. So I get it. But you know, we fight in the struggle, and you know, this, this. damn, that's that's tough. That's yeah. tough. Oh, yeah. wow. That's tough. Because that's the actual real truth. But it's like, don't mind talking about that. Okay, so, so I, I'll, I'll oh, go... Oh, we got the bell! <laughs> yeah, that was dope. <laughs> that I'm going to f- say this. I'm going to go further on the real truth. I can easily back that statement up a thousand times fold. But it's the end of the show. It's that's the end fact. of the week. It's the end of the episode. And with that, we need to cut it short. Um, if you would like to see more, make sure you tune in to the next week of Willow Wednesdays. Um, yes. We got more like. dope shit coming. Like, 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 share, comment. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Also, Press the bell. Do all that. Go ahead, go ahead. We got a Hey Willow Wednesdays. I didn't forget. Trust me. You sent it to me. I got you. Next week, we're going to touch week, the Hey Willow Wednesdays. We got you. We will not forget it, I promise. Mm-hmm. If you have a Hey Willow Wednesday, send it to us. Email, DM. Text, call, all that shit. Got all that you. good shit. Um, tell a friend, tell a friend every- to watch Willow Wednesdays. Shout out to 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 Wale and friends. Shout out to 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 the Willow Wednesdays family page. Shout out shout to Instagram to, on Wale. Listen, shout out to Cool Dre. Shout, shout, out to, shout out to everybody. All of y'all who's a part of the great dopeness here. Yeah. Go stream Damo's music, Skate One Hundred Seven, mm-hmm. and all the other good shit. Shout mm-hmm. out Water. Scream, mm-hmm. stream Water from Jay Willa. Uh, uh, video I also. Soon. I go a step further. Also, got, also, um, wait, 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 real quick, real quick. Real Check quick. out what we My just bad. did. We just did it. No. 
I, I know, but I just give me one second. Since we're doing shout outs, um, um, Chef, uh, uh, Chef Wee, uh, mm -hmm. shout out to that movement. Shout out to um, fucking. Are you hit me? I just bitch? slapped you. Um, Fucking what's 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 Reem shit? What's the Reem shit? Uh, funny man Reem. Funny man Reem. Like shout out to all that, all that, all that. Go ahead, Dame. Talk your shit. Yeah, of course. No, all I all I was gonna say is we just yeah, did a couple more reaction videos. Please check oh, yeah, those out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's coming. I, I, I wasn't even gonna say that. I wasn't even gonna. Let's do that, man. That. No, um, we got a couple more reaction videos, do. and we got a reaction so, to the reaction part two. Go check that out. Reaction to the reaction. You feel me? Reaction to the reaction. So please, everybody, once again, like and subscribe. All right, man, that's it. We got to go. Shit. Peace, love, and hair grease. Nah, facts. Fuck we out of here. Wade, press that Fuck drop. Press late. that funny ass drop that you press at the end of the shit. You know what I'm go. saying? We out. And we shout out. out to Wade, too. The GOAT. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.